Thermopile sensors are used to measure average power of a laser beam, and they're specified with a maximum rated power according to how well their body structure can continuously dissipate the heat that's generated as the beam comes in. For example, a sensor rated for up to 250 watts can dissipate heat at a rate of up to 250 watts. Note that word continuously. If the exposure to high power is not continuous, if the sensor is only briefly exposed to the high power, it can then take its time cooling off before another exposure. Treating this short exposure as if it were a single pulse and measuring its energy gives us a way of using low or moderate power sensors to measure much higher powers by measuring the energy of the pulse and dividing by the pulse width. Power is energy divided by time, after all, but we can make it easier than that by having the meter do the math automatically. And that is known in Ophir meters as pulsed power mode. Here's how it works in the Centauri meter. In pulsed power mode, set the sensor parameters as you would in single shot energy mode, range, laser, or wavelength, threshold. Enter the known length of the pulse, fire the pulse, and the Centauri then displays the instantaneous power during the pulse. This can be particularly useful, for example, for measuring high power lasers using a short exposure with a lower power sensor. Ophir has a number of sensors that were specifically given high energy scales for just this purpose. In fact, we have a section of our website specifically devoted to this.